Hey guys, we're just going to do a little similar polygons review today. Hopefully this is able to help you out. Move down a couple of eyes here. All right. So when we're talking about similar polygon, polygons, what we're looking for is two shapes that are exactly the same when it comes to angles. So you can see like these two shapes up here, we have 90 degree angles on all sides. These would actually be rectangles. And we need the sides to be directly in proportion to each other, right? What that means is that when we set these up as fractions, we set the sides equal to each other, they'll reduce to give us the same fraction, which means that they are in proportion. So let's try that out. When we look at these two shapes, we'll find the sides that line up with each other. So for this example, we have eight, and the eight side, which is the shorter side on this uh, rectangle, is going to line up with the shorter side on this rectangle, which is 12. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set these up as a ratio. I'm going to say eight over 12. All right, now I'm going to set up my second ratio. Uh, the second ratio is going to be the longer sides. So you see that I have 18 and I have 27. My other ratio is going to be 18 over 27. And now you're thinking to yourself, those don't look very similar, but let's see what happens if we actually reduce these down a little bit. 8 and 12 are both divisible by 2, so we'll reduce it to 4 over 6. So this is divided by 2 divided by 2, and we can reduce it by 2 again, divided by 2, divided by 2, we're going to get 2 over 3. Now let's try the same thing over here. 18 and 27 are both divisible by, we'll start with 3. 18 is divisible by 3. That's going to leave us with a total of 6. 27 is divisible by 3, which is going to leave us with 9. We have 6 over 9. Both 6 and 9 are divisible by 3. So we divide by 3 again, we divide by 3 again, we will end up with 2 over 3. And in this case, because these ratios, I'm going to change the color here a little bit, because these ratios, 2 over 3 and the ratio 2 over 3 are exactly the same, we have something called a similar polygon. So our answer would be yeah, or yes, I guess I wrote yes, they are similar. Wonderful. Nice job. If you got that, hopefully that helps you make a little bit of sense of these. If these numbers had not been the same, so let's say, for example, we had end up, ended up with uh, 1 over 3 and let's go with 245 over 8, or anything that's different, these would be not similar. Not similar. All right, let's move on to the other things that we can do with similar polygons. The other thing that you're going to be asked to do with similar polygons is you're going to be asked to find a missing value like this. Now this is only if they say these are similar. If it does not tell you that these are similar, you can't do anything with it. It doesn't help you out. So what we're going to do is the exact same process, except this time we're going to have an x value and we need to solve for it. So we'll set up our proportions here. Sorry, I noticed a small discrepancy there. You'll see that the change has been that the 9 moved over to the other side of this triangle. Let's try this again. So if you are told that these two triangles are similar, you're going to notice that what you can do is use that exact same proportion that we did before to figure out the missing value. So we're going to set it up just the way that we did before. As long as we maintain the uh, sides that match up with each other. So if we look at this left triangle, we're looking for the x value. The x value is going to match up with this 14. So we're going to write it as x over 14. Now if you wanted to write it as 14 over x, that's fine. You just have to remember to stay in the same order. All right, we did the small triangle over the large triangle. So what we need to do on the second one is we're going to have to do the exact same thing. We'll set up a proportion, set them equal to each, equal to each other, and say that the smaller triangle, which in this case is going to be 9, is going to match up with the larger triangle on this side, which in this case is going to be 21. Now, if you did yours backwards, that's fine. If you did large over small on this side, that's fine, as long as you continue to do large over small over here. Now, once we've done this, all we need to do is that cross multiplication, right? To solve these problems, we can cross multiply. Uh, if you really wanted to, you could reduce these down first, because this is a fraction, the 9 over 21. If you want to reduce it, that would be the same as 3 over 7, which will make your life a little bit easier. But let's do the cross multiplication. These two are going to multiply, and these two are going to multiply. And so what we're going to end up with is 21, actually we reduced it, my bad, 7 times x is going to be equal to 14 times 
3. All right, 14 times 3 is going to be, let me do the math over here just because, 14 times 3, we get 12, add a 1, 42 is equal to 7x. And then in order to get x alone, we divide by 7. We'll divide by 7. 42 divided by 7 is going to be equal to 6. So our final answer would be the value of x is 6. x equals 6. All right. Hopefully that gave you a little bit of insight when you're dealing with similar polygons. All right. If you have any more questions, feel free to let me know.